Okay, it's time to pick our random winner for the uh, vintage jewelry for November comments or comments up to November. There we go, Linda's jewelry collection and more. Congratulations to Linda. Now, uh, Diana Hess has not gotten back to me with her contact information so that I can um, send her her winnings from October. So if anybody knows Diana, please give her a shout. Otherwise, I'll have a, another jewelry bag to draw from soon. Thanks very much. Bye for now. Hi, it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and I'm back with another of my buy one get one jewelry jars. This one was uh, originally 1999, so half price. And this is kind of interesting. I saw these sort of pink, purple, and green beads, and they're knotted in between, and they look like glass at least. There's some paper beads, some, I don't know what those are really. Maybe more glass beads. These could potentially be glass beads. There's some little, little probably necklace, something made out of string or fiber. Maybe, I don't know if that's a watch or just a type of um, bangle or whatever, bracelet. And then on the top of the jar, I don't know if that's like a, what we call a talisman bag. Um, done with seed beads or if it's a bracelet whatever it is there's a lot of work involved in that so I'm going to uh, slice open the tape and I'll be back in a second and we'll start into this jewelry jar hope you're having a great day jewelry jar opening already there's a casualty these um, tassel earrings I'm sure this is the second one it's just sort of stuck in the first one somehow it was stuck to the tape at the top of the jar and when I took the tape off I didn't realize that it was that badly stuck so there went the uh, the earring now I'm not into tassels in a big way but certainly we could uh, repurpose those so that's too bad but lots of cool little things let me see if I can get rid of all this <clears throat> excuse me, tassel string, and um, let's, yeah, use the tape, to, there we go, all nice cleaned up mostly, and let's see what we have. So that's a lot of work, um, and when wearing it, you wouldn't really know that there was an issue. It is kind of wide, um, and then you have to be able to get it on and get the little balls through the loops but it is made to be adjustable so someone who has a slightly narrower wrist well, I guess if you wore it higher up the wrist I like this section the best right here but then I like things that are symmetrical generally like everything else is really symmetrical and then you get over here and it's like ooh, what happened so uh Interesting. Well, that's easy enough to clean. Not sure what I'll do with that. There's lots of interesting little bits and pieces. Here's part of a maybe a stretchy bracelet, but it's cold. I don't know if that's stone or glass made to look like stone. I like it. Here's a ring. Well, that's pretty. I think it, I, I'm assuming it's costume. Yeah, there's, it's sort of, well, it might be silver plated, or not silver plated, it might be sterling band. These things are always a challenge. I can't tell, I'm going to just, can't tell if that's just tarnish or if there's actually writing inside there. I think there's real writing. I don't think there's any writing on the inside there, but it's very promising. Ooh, seven and a half fits me. Cool. How come I, there we go. 
My focus point, my focal point for my camera is not very good these days. That's really sweet. I like that. I have a silver one like this from my mother, but it's a little too big. Flops on and off my finger. I like that one quite quite a bit. Oh, anyway, I have to test that for, for silver. And uh, let's see what else we have here. A little pendant. Are those bluish? Or just the reflection? Okay, let's compare. Yeah. There's, well, I would say clear, and these look slightly bluish. I think it's part of an earring or like it could be one of those um, enhancers you add to an earring where the earring post goes through. Let's see. Here's something we could try it with. Where you go like that. Except uh, that is a much shinier. So I don't know. We'll see if we find a second one. I'm going to probably, oh, another earring. I'm going to try to start putting the, the single, oh, hey, another one of these from a, probably from a stretchy bracelet. So I'm going to put the single earrings off to the side. Ooh, this one looks really good, like it's silver, like real silver and turquoise. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Exciting days and times. All righty. These are all single earrings, so I'm going to put them off to the side. Here's another interesting piece. I don't know if it's broken from a necklace or supposed to go in an ear, ear like a hanser for an earring. Oh, puzzles, puzzles right from the beginning. I got a little bit more of that tassel stuff, so let me just... Get it out of here. Okay. I saw this from inside. Look at it. It's, I think it's made with resin. It's like a butterfly wing earring. It's very lightweight. I don't know if it's handmade. I don't, there's no markings, but only one of them. Oh, I said I was, uh, wasn't going to do single earrings so oh here's another bracelet piece what do you bet it goes with those and I'm gonna throw those little bits off to the side another ring oh pretty are all the rhinestones there no missing one there well that's easy fix and uh, it's not a seven and a half I don't know what size that finger is you know that um, you can measure the inside of the the um, ring, or you can actually you put a paper around your finger, and it's the centimeters. How many centimeters around is uh, the ring size? So uh, very pretty, and just one little missing rhinestone. Well, that'll be something worth fixing. I love that deep purple. Uh, stone in the center. Ooh. Oh, this is a pretty little bracelet. Here, all these little... I'm finding wonderful things here today. <coughs> this is amazing. Okay, so... Um, toggle clasp. A little bracelet with uh, some uh, crystals. And some of them are like a half coat so this side has got that silvery coating and the other side doesn't um try to remember you i i know i think of it as a b half coat but um i've uh, seen and purchased and used a lot of those i don't know about the pearls just the the they look like potato pearls you know they're not they're not a consistent Shape and size. Let's see if there's any markings on the clasp. No, there's, you can see the clasp is, the finish is kind of uh, wearing on that part there. So I wouldn't expect the clasp to be silver. 
Um, yeah. But let's rub these some of these pearls against each other and see if they feel gritty. Yeah, they do. So those could be potato pearls. Oh, I can smell, you know that smell that jewelry gets? I can smell it. I have a trouble with these toggle clasps myself. So if I were to wear this as a bracelet, I would always be needing someone to do it up. But that is, that's very pretty. Oh, I'm, I'm putting together a lot of jewelry for the new year, like New Year's and celebrations and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to put that in there. I'll clean it up. Might put a, a different clasp on it. Here's, uh, I've had a pair of earrings that uh, are all together. Lots of, oh, this is not a, an earring. I thought maybe this was, when I saw these pieces, I thought <clears throat> perhaps they were part of earrings. But this is a broken necklace. So I don't think it would be long enough like that to make, oh, well, maybe it would be. I stand corrected, because look. There's a nice barrel clasp. So it may be just detached right there. Well, let's move this out of the way and we move it move it up like that. So there's a, something that we could probably, though it's not, hmm, let's see. Oh, there we go, that would be even. Yeah, that would be 18. Well, that's a, a simple fix. I like, I love these kind of, oh, okay, I can see I loosened this and it came apart. So, uh, yeah, have no idea the age of that. Um, I don't see any maker's marks on anywhere. It's a good weight. It's it's a nice weight. It's not too loose. Sometimes there could be a marking on the barrel clasp. If I can get it to focus. Sorry, I can't. There. No. No markings. So there's something for the repair pile. Where are my little dishes? Wow. Interesting things. I didn't really have any expectations about this jar. I know in my previous jar I had low expectations because things were all in bags and there wasn't very much in the jar. Um, this one I came out with, you know, no expectations at all. And eventually, if I can get this... Um, detangled so you can see it's got a lobster claw clasp and then it's got two gold and two gold tone and two uh, turquoise ch chains and then it comes down to a mess at the bottom here so I'll uh, off camera I will uh, untangle this and uh, come back with it well I am back that was a good uh, lengthy untangling, but I think it was really worth it because look at how pretty this necklace is. Um, a little heart with a rhinestone. Tiny. A little key. Delicate little key. Um, another rhinestone drop and this chain has got the little ball stations on it and then this final drop um it's kind of indistinct as to what it's supposed to be i don't think that really matters but it's quite long this i would say that the longest piece is about 36 inches um so I'm going to just try to, I, I had a good time. So you've got the, each strand is a little different length, which was why it was so difficult to uh, untangle. 
I'm just going to pull it around and you can sort of see the four strands here. I, I've been getting more jewelry lately that uses these painted chains and they are very nice and colorful. There's no maker's mark on this, but uh, it's an excellent shape. And um, if you like the, you know, the layered look um, and don't mind a long layered look, then I think you'd really enjoy this. Of course, as soon as I sat it down, it sort of tangled up again, but you can see how nicely that would lay on your shoulders. So really pretty. Wow. Getting a lot in this turquoise kind of color today too. That's unusual. <clears throat> Alrighty, I'm getting lots of earrings here. Um, Oh, this isn't an earring. I know somebody who's going to want this. I think I'll put it in their Christmas box. It's just a lapel pin. But my granddaughter likes unicorns and has lots of clothes with unicorns on them. She loves to wear it to school. So, something feels like it might... Oh, no, it's just, again, another multi-strand that's sort of tangled. And, okay, so here's another piece, and uh, uh, two pieces, maybe th another, three. Here are three pieces with um, those four holes. So they would have come from the stretchy bracelet, and they go nicely with these other ones. Ooh, so here's some components that are all ready for me to repurpose them. So far we've got two of each design. So very nice. I love the colors. I love those colors. And I just um, drop something on the floor. Okay, so there's a good imitation rock. It's acrylic or some type of plastic. Um, it's a good. It's it's substantial. It's a, a reasonable weight. So let's see if we can. Let's see if we. Let's see if I can untangle this um, all right this is interesting so these these are like chains that dangle I think if I, oh no they're just three three chains so there's what I'm assuming is the center and then but perhaps not. Maybe, maybe there's two side pieces. Okay, give me a second. I'll be right back. Um, detangled it. I can see why somebody might have given this way. I think of this as the necklace of frustration. <laughs> At the top here, you have four strands. That's sort of that black tone metal or black plated. I'm not sure what how they make that color. Um, and they're all equal size. So this is the part at the top here would go around your neck. And then you come down to the two stations on the side. And then here's where the frustration comes in. Each of these um, chains is a different length. And they so they travel down to this for this point here. So another 18 inches. So the thing is probably nine Oh, so 1836 and another six maybe. Um, but I could see, I had a terrible time detangling it. Um, took a lot, of, uh, a lot of effort. And I could see if you didn't have a, the right storage for this, grabbing the wrong end of the necklace, putting it around your neck, and then realizing that it's all tangled, get, getting tangled and you got to take it off and put it on the other way. So... Um, if, if I were a betting person, I would probably bet somebody gave it away because it was just too frustrating to keep detangling it. It's an excellent shape. It might've been worn once, if at all. Um, so I'd have to find a way to keep it from retangling. Um, I mean, if you, if both sides were equivalent, it didn't, it wouldn't matter how you put it on, but then it wouldn't be quite as interesting. So, um, there we go. 
If I were in charge of jewelry manufacturing, the things that I would think of. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> and now, let's see what else we've got. Um, lots of single earrings coming out, but uh, here's a cute little bracelet. Um, faceted AB, round AB stones. I think this is supposed to be the top. Cute little, very lightweight, made out of seed beads. Uh, nice colors, pretty design. Um, only drawback is that the type of clasp it has. I mean, it's a frugal clasp, but it's actually, it works quite well. <clears throat> but if I were making it, I would put a better quality clasp on it. Nice. I'm going to figure, I'm going to say that this is a, you know, a handmade piece. What else have we got? We got a watch here. Um, quartz. It's got the second hands on the dial. The brand is Milan and it looks like it's still got the, you know, the little protective coating on the back. Some people may, maybe will, you know, didn't think to take it off. The band does, well, it's hard to tell. It's a little fuzzy there, but I'm not sure if that's from youth. Well, maybe there's one hole that looks like it was, the band was used, but not, not very much. So we'd have to see if that needs a battery to get it working. Okay, here's a few more things that I pulled out of the jar. Um, this looks possibly like a, a handmade piece. Interesting idea for the clasp. Um, hmm. I don't know. Just trying to see if this is possibly a sterling. I would say not. Don't see any markings. Okay. Anyway, um, so seed beads and lovely coated, um, so AB faceted beads, um, browns, sort of a looks very blue on the camera it's hard to see I think it is sort of brown blue black so nice length good length and uh, well made um, a little clumsy at the ends here but looks very sturdy and not gonna like it's gonna come apart so another another seed bead item Ooh, this is pretty Here's some fiber optic optic beads, and what's going on here with the clasp? <laughs> oh, I see. Okay, the whole necklace has gone right through the clasp. So there's a, a heart, puffy heart, and a toggle clasp. No markings. Pretty little bracelet. Nicely all uh, um, wired or chained, not chained, but um, you know, eye pinned, eye pins together. So uh, I don't know if it's artisan made or not, but that's a cute little bracelet. Very wearable. Could be uh, maybe use a little shining on the metal parts. Here's another bracelet with the letter D. Oh, I have a sister whose name is Debbie. I wonder if she would wear something like this. It's a cute little bracelet. It's lightweight. It has a spring ring clasp. So, the spring ring works. The, ch the chain is uh, in excellent condition, hardly ever worn. I think, I don't know, uh, what do you think of these bracelets where there's only like one thing dangling from them? Like, would that be bothersome? 
Because I think it's a nice little pendant. It's just not, I don't know. I'd have to try wearing one, I guess, for a while. See what I, how I felt about it. I guess it's kind of like this one with the heart dangling. But this was this is a little looser. Nice bracelets. Okay, this is glass. Glass, but on a very lightweight hammered link chain. Let's see if we there you can see it better. Aren't those interesting links? Sort of twisting hammered links. They kind of all go together. There actually is a clasp. But it's long enough, it doesn't really need one. So what are we looking at? 36, maybe? That's nice. Doesn't look like it's ever been worn. Um, you know, clean it, uh, and you could wear it today. I like these glass beads. I like the whole thing, actually. Uh, and and it, it's not too dressy. I think... Um, <coughs> Excuse me. Um, it would be great for casual wear, but depending what you wore it with, it might look very nice. Uh, say you had a suit with these muted sort of purpley colors. I think that could be very nice with it. Oh, wow. This jar is really delivering great things. Here's another. I thought these at first glance were... Um, those paper beads, but these are some more glass beads. They're like, kind of like peanuts or not quite, like little, like little grubs, <laughs> blue grubs. Oh dear. Um, again, a spring ring clasp. I like these textured uh, bars on the chain in between them. Very nice. Not, uh, not as long as the previous one, but a good length. So 18 and maybe 8, so maybe 24, 26. Excellent. Oh, wow. There's so many cool things in here. You could tell I'm excited, right? Here's an infinity bracelet that's maybe had infinite wear. Clasp still works. There's something on that clasp. There's something on that clasp, and it's so teeny tiny, I can't tell what it is. Oh, but you can tell what that says. Okay, so this is not so much wear as tarnish, 925, and what does that say in the little thing on below? Let me see if I can zoom in and then get it to focus. 925, ooh, something... I have no idea. Well, I will test it to make to sure it look make sure it is silver because it kind of looks more like stainless steel. But uh, that, yeah, I would say that that is a a little teeny tiny nine two five stamp in there. Cool. Let me uh, readjust the camera back to normal. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, so I'm going to put that in this possibly precious pile. Okay. Well, um, I think we've been going for a good length of time on this. And I was going to pull out <laughs> some more stuff. And then I found this. And it's a, a poor, well, maybe it just needs an adjustment. Oh, there we go. It's a helicopter. <laughs> How this got into a jewelry jar, I'll never know. It's a Corgi Juniors. So it's a good quality little helicopter. But it's not jewelry. <laughs> and I have over here, I have a ton. Yes, a ton of single earrings that haven't been matched up yet. So that's the ton. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm sure there's enough for one or two, uh, I think I put this here, one or two more sessions on this jar, especially if I have to match up the earrings. So 
there's a toy to go in somebody's stocking. I don't know anybody really young enough. It, uh, I do, but there's like four or five that would fight over it. I love some of these necklaces and, uh, you know, rings and things. Um, little bits and pieces, stuff to fix and repurpose or repair. So this star is really wonderful. I hope you've enjoyed taking a look at it with me so far. Things I've never seen before in terms of designs and types of jewelry um, and some nice handmade pieces. Um, so uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you're having a good day and we'll see you back for part two. Thanks very much. It's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes where hobbies bring me joy.